welcome back to another video. So today's video is a Goodwill haul. Uh, they're kind of like a cumulative, but I could have done like, I guess, at one store I did pretty well, so I could have um, done it all. I could have made one video, but then the next two places, I I guess I like um, found like a few things at each, but there were things I was happy with. I have like over a hundred things to list, um, probably more. So I have like enough till the school year is over but you know i can't stop sourcing because i'm addicted but that's okay um and also so like my next video is gonna be thrift with me but that's like the next video but it's like worse than i thought i was gonna like yeah it sounds like don't have high hopes is what i'm trying to say okay anyways i'll just get right into it so you guys i know i go to shoes jeans and uh pants first but i found st john size six and they were just like some black courier pants these feel so nice like such great quality so i went ahead and bought these because they're just so nice um these are like i want to say like five dollars and change but really really nice slacks i mean for like black pants even though they're just black pants are just so nice all right then i found i've been on like kind of like a kick with this brand recently so this is universal standard size 16 and they are these uh high-waisted skinny jeans i think this is the sereni style or something serene sunny s-e-i-n-e high rise skinny and dark indigo 27 inch size 16 so i found um size 16 universal standard jeans like last time i went like and that was a big prior to this and i went back and i found that pair then I found right like down the row with from those was wait where did we go was this pair of universal standard jeans size eighteen and these were six dollars and eight cents so high waisted skinny jeans so I find like plus size skinny jeans still sell well for me but so I got those. Then, right next, like, a couple of things down from those was these frame jeans, size 32. And these are the Lay Skinny Day Jean, whatever. I don't think anyone knows how to pronounce that unless, like, they speak French, which I do not. These were $6.08. So the reason I decided to get these, I would have passed on these if they were, like, a size, like, 28 or 27 or um, probably anything below, like, a 30. I probably would have passed on them even if they're a 30, but they... A 32 is a plus size that is a size 14 and i don't i have a hard time finding like plus size denim so i went ahead and got them and frame jeans are just so easy to list because it has the style and then the color which is knight rider also these are 50 percent modal so like they're very soft stretchy uh skinny jeans so we'll have to see how these do i'll probably expect like 30 dollars from these but i thought that was fine all right then I found for $7.23, I found this pair of universal standard size small pants, also new with tags. I found this brand, I think, nine times, and five times it's been new with tags. So I found this brand, or I found it my first three times finding it, they were new with tag. Then I found, I don't know what I found next, a pair of jeans, which I passed on because they had some like stretching at the front. And then I found these three. Wait, I don't know. But I found it more times new tags than pre-owned, which is fine by me. So, their jeans. Okay, so on this brand, like, their jeans, these are size 18. That means they're actually size 18. But for, like, their sometimes, like, for pants and tops, it'll say, like, small. But they have, like, their own sizing. So, I think, it's, I know a size two extra small and that brand is a size six to eight so i'm not really sure what a small is i want to say it's like a plus size but they're like this green uh like zippered straight leg pant and these really nice i like the color and new tags i obviously got those all right then i found these spanx size extra large uh seven dollars and 23 cents these like cargo ankle pants, but th I've sold this style before and it did pretty well. So probably expecting fifty dollars for these. Um, these probably around fifty. These probably forty to fifty. These frame jeans like thirty. Like I said, these since they're new with tags, probably like 
Uh, I'll probably list them at like 75, so probably like 60 for those. And then the St. John, 40 to 50. Probably like, I don't know, actually. I mean, those seem like a newer style. And sometimes, like, I don't always pick up St. John, but stuff like that, that is like kind of like classic and like just feels nice and is in good. I just, I don't know. I just like sometimes if I can just tell something so well made, I'm just like more willing to grab it. And that was very well made. Okay. Then, uh, what else? That is it for a different goodwill. Okay. Then this is my first time here. Do I want to get to that? Okay. I went to the dresses and then I found I saw this. This is my third time finding this brand and yeah, it's COS so costs or which is a H and M brand and other stories and um costs are like the same are part of the H and M family but they're more high end. But this is like a shift style dress and this really nice print. This is just gonna photograph so nicely. You can already tell on the camera it's all the colors are popping up, so a lot of fun colors. This was seven dollars and twenty three cents. It's a size four, and I was kind of, I don't I don't really know. So I thought like there was like a whole bunch of staining, and I, so we put it back. But then I'm like I asked my mom, and she goes, "No, that's the print." So I got it because I just think this. Is, so probably like I don't know thirty to forty is my guess. I'm not hundred percent sure. I don't look up comps. I did look up comps on this, and I think this is my first time ever picking up this brand at the thrift store. And so, yeah, I guess, like, run your comps, because, yeah, cabby, size extra small. And the only reason I knew to grab this, because I watched, like, a thrift, or a thrift, or a thrift haul, and I think it was McThriftsy, she found this, and she goes, this actually had good comps. So it's, like, this jumpsuit, um, it's, like, pants, but then has, like, this, like, shirt, like, thing, but, like, it covers, like, that. So it's called, like, a play suit or something, I don't know. But like, these were selling for like 50 bucks. So I was like really happy with that. Cabby's also really easy to uh, look up and list. So this is navy blue rayon spandex. So I was very happy with that. All right, more Spanx. I, these were right next to the other ones. These are size large though. And they are some just black pull on with cat hair, ankle pants. And they have like this back slit, kinda. So those are nice. I don't pick up all Spanx anymore. I pass on the look, the look at me now leggings just because they don't sell the best for me but um yeah i did get those because they were i mean like those styles are stuff i'd still get all right this is an eileen fisher size small i think saw small slash medium so listed as a medium because i usually list like the bigger size or more average uh, size and this is 100% organic linen. So, like, I don't even understand, like, what organic cotton or organic linen even means. Like, I guess it just means, like, grown, like, more organically. But, like, what does that even mean? So, like, if somebody could let me know, like, that... I mean, I could Google it myself, but, like, I haven't. So, just let me know if you feel like telling me. But, like, if not, that's okay, too. I can probably look it up myself, but... Oh, well. Um, you know, it doesn't, like, keep me up at night or anything. But I just don't understand, like... Even, like... Yeah, I don't... Anyways, okay, this is called, I was very happy because this store, like, if they have the price tag on it, like, this probably retail for, like, $150, like, Eileen Fisher is so expensive, um, but somebody, like, cut off the price tag, so, like, thank you person, or else they'd have marked it up, but this was $2.99, which, new tech, all, Eileen Fisher, I will pay, like, all day long, $2.99, and this is, like, a poncho style, I probably would have picked, I don't know if I would have picked this up, like, without the tags, but actually, I probably would have, because it's a cool style, like, cool, but, um, organic linen, whatever that means, but, okay, linen, organic cotton, Eileen Fisher, new tags, yes, okay, this was my first time finding this brand, it is School Cashmere, size, uh, small, um, and it's just, like, this top, it has, like, so, in this brand, the school, stuff that has, like, the skulls on it does the best, um, this is not cashmere, though, this was $2.40, um, it was marked girls' clothing, but, I mean, it's not, it's women's, so, and it also has this red embroidered skull down there. This is just 100% cotton, and this has like some wash wear, but I still went ahead and got it because it was very cheap, and I mean, like, why not? 100% cotton, so we'll try that. All right, am I getting to like my designer find, I guess? Okay, yeah, so this was my first time finding this brand, and honestly, I like just turned the corner and it was draped like this over the rack, like hung up on top of the rack. And I have never found something to resell that has been on the floor. I mean, I've, I always pick up something on the floor and I hang it over on top of the rack. I've never found something on top of the rack, but this is my first time finding something just like not on a hanger, just draped over the rack. 
and this is a designer um marnie i've never found it usually their labels are like white with like red stitching that says marnie this one is not but i still knew the brand it is a day i don't know this is probably like spanish or french for established in 2009 which i feel like it'd be older than that i don't know but this literally is so ugly like it's like it looks like a literal potato sack um yeah i haven't posted this on instagram yet but it has like this slit this that's so so ugly like i'm sorry if you, if you like this i'll have it for sale um yeah it's like this i mean it's a lag and look style it's a cotton and sometimes you can tell when like a like when i feel like my little johnson dress like that cotton felt nice and this cotton felt nice but the size is on the interior it says marnie made in portugal 80 percent cotton 40 percent nylon and this is a size 38 which i think is like a large maybe or medium large so good size um yeah I'm, I'm, you know i'm excited to cross this brand off my list this is a brand that has been on my bill list for a while and it's like a brand i'm like oh, actually sometimes when i find like a brand i'm like it's not like a brand that's at the top of my list this was like close closer to the top i mean it was not my top brand if you've been on my channel for a while you know what my top brand is and i'm wearing two things by it so okay all right then i went to like a like a mom and pop thrift store that i really like supporting because their mission is good 100 percent of like after they pay their utilities and rent and all that 100 percent of the profits go to like a, um like each week they have like a new thing they're donating the profits to and yeah but so i try to like get stuff there but it's really small store and i don't always find stuff but their pricing is so fair too so these are a pair of hoka which i don't always pick up anymore they've really slowed down for me but these were really really muddy and dirty but i just threw them in the wash and they came out fine these are a woman's size eight and they're called the arahi style and these are the one oh they actually are the one oh no one one style I literally hate that pronunciation, so I just call them the Hoka One Ones. Even though before people say it's pronounced One One, I understand that, but like I'm Team Hoka One One, even though that's really not how you pronounce it. But I don't care if somebody says Hoka One One, I'm not correcting them because that I I just I don't know why I do not like the pronunciation One One. Like so, I found these Hoka One Ones for two dollars and fifty cents, and I listed those for fifty. And then I found this Kate Spade collaboration with. Betty and Veronica. Some person had this listed for $100 pre-owned, and I'm listing mine for probably $25, but it has like this embroidered hearts. And this was also $2.50, but then again, I probably wouldn't have picked this up at Goodwill because it probably would have been like $5 and or marked up because it says Kate Spade, but not to say that this, this store doesn't mark up like Kate Spade bags because they do, but like, I don't know. Okay, then I went to another, uh, like kind of like a smaller thrift store. I typically do not like this one their shoes they have somebody in the back looking up their shoes and i'm 100 percent positive they do not miss shoes at all they have they don't miss a pair anymore like they used to miss them now they do not like yeah but um these are like some gray sweat shorts and if you see this logo these are lululemon and these are men's their size men's size small which is my size and i've only found men's lululemon in my size twice this is the second time and I'm not keeping these because this inseam is so long. Like, this is probably like an 11 inch inseam. So these probably won't sell the best. So I'd probably expect 35, but they were $3.50. So I was like, okay. And then right next to this, I don't pick up this brand all the time either, but this was $3.50 or two, three something. This is Untuck It size large. And it's like this men's flannel, but it seemed like really nice condition. And then I like was checking to see if all the buttons were there and I saw like this dry cleaning tag so I could just tell somebody took care of it and it's called the Bilar and the color blue so easy to list all right then I went to Plato's closet and I found two I found a pair of on clouds but my sister is keeping those they were only ten dollars and yeah woman well, size six and a half but then I found these in one of my favorite brands to wear and sell Viori and these are size 33 and they are new with tags viori these are retailed for 74 dollars, and they were only 10 dollars. so thank you plato's for being dumb oh and then this is one of the logos all right then i went to a garage sale or a few of them i only found stuff to sell at one of them but i i've never ever tried this brand before and i know it sells i, th I think this is like targets 
brand, but it's like more high end or something. Um, anyways, it's Bonobos, and this is a 34 by 32, which is a really good size of men's pants. And these were only priced at one dollar. These are the Tuesday pants. I'm not sure if that's like the actual style name or if it's like just says I don't know, but they have like this print to them, so like those. But then there was another pair. These are the Thursday pants, and if you can see, they were one dollar. So these are khaki, same size. I didn't really look them over that well, but like I feel I looked them over decently well. These are the Tuesday pants. Again, a dollar. All of them were one dollar. This garage sale pretty fair price. Or so it was like a collaboration garage sale. Like there was a few other people, but like Amanda, like she knew her pricing well and she priced everything good enough so that I could have resold it. Like one dollar. I'm like. I'm like, and I know this, I've wanted to try this brand, but, like, I honestly have just been, like, too lazy to, like, pick up men's dress pants and sell them. But for a dollar, I just don't want to leave them, even though I really don't need stuff to list. Because before that, I went to my consent store's bag sale, and I picked up, like, a lot of stuff. So, I got, like, five bags. So, yeah, but anyways, Bonobos. And these are the last ones. These are called the Monday. And straight, like, blue. So four pants, four dollars, and then the pair of shoes I got were these leather flats, and if you see that logo, you know that these are Fry. I've sold this style before, it's called the Ash. Mine last pair sold for $42, and these were a bit more worn, however, I did, like, and they have just to, like, wear on the insole, you can kind of see, but these were really, really dirty on, like, the insole, and I just wiped them down, they look great. So these are, I mean, they have some, like, wear at the heels, like, typical but like for these were one dollar and i was like okay i'm not leaving fry behind for one dollar i love polishing leather shoes but i was so happy about those and there's the fry and then another pair of fry my very last thing from the garage show so i paid wait oh wait no it's not my last thing from the garage show okay i'll go get the last thing one second so fry these are the ash flats again there's the logo so um, and they have, these have a little bit more wear. Uh, I think this is, these are like watermarks and they have some wear at the tips and then the heel and then like one scuff on the side. Oh, somebody is starting to add items to their bundle. So hopefully that will end up in a bundle sale. So anyways, these are size eight and a half, both of them. Sorry, the last thing I got from this garage, I haven't picked this brand up in like over a year, but these are just like a heel sandal, like good for the season. Uh, black. Really decent condition on these. I mean, there's just some dirt on the heel I need to get off. But these were priced at 50 cents from our queen, Amanda. And these are a Timberland. Which, I, again, I I mean, I used to pick up this brand, like, every time I saw it. Not really anymore, because some styles just do not sell that well. And I'm not even sure how these will do. These are size 8, and they're a genuine leather. For 50 cents, I was like, that's literally cheaper than the bins. We will try them. Okay. Then, at the, actually, at the first Goodwill where I found the Marnie, I found, this was the very first thing I found. And I was on April Fool's, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get fooled by these. But I saw Birkenstock. And if you can tell by the toes, these have been, like, tried on. I mean, they are in such, such amazing shape. These are size 39, which is, like, uh, eight, eight and a half nine i think or eight eight and a half um like literally zero zero wear i mean zero sign i mean like very very little signs of wear like i feel like if i would like eat off that sole that is how clean it is and i was like okay these are definitely gonna be marked up and this is something i would expect to be marked up because i mean birkenstocks are a common knowledge brand I feel like half, if over half the people in my area wear Birkenstocks. I wear Birkenstocks. My friends wear Birkenstocks. Their parents wear Birkenstocks. My mom wears Birkenstocks. My sister wear Birkenstocks. Like, everybody has Birkenstocks. And I'm like, okay. But these were $5.99, and they had just come out on the floor. So uh, the color for this day changed. So, like, every week they have, like, a new color half off, which means, like, a new color comes out on the floor. These came out on April 1st, and... I, they weren't even on the new car, they were just on the shelf, and I was so happy to get them. And I'll probably list them at like $85, because they're, or maybe even 100 because they're in that good condition, and now is the time to be selling them. Alright, then I went to very last Goodwill, 
and I got just three things, and I'm happy with the three things I got. Um, you know, Fig, this is Figs, and I do not pick up their top, like their scrub tops, um, just by themselves anymore. I want to pick up the scrub tops in sets, but these are, I do pick up their pants still, because pants typically sell for more than the top. This is Figs, and these are like a straight leg pant. They're kind of like, feel like cropped. They're not petite length, though, but they look cropped. Uh, probably it's like a 25 inch inseam, but these were only uh, 2.99, so I was like, okay, fine. And they're size small, I believe, extra small, but this like kind of like teal color, so I probably get like thirty dollars, twenty five to thirty. And then these were Abercrombie uh, and Fitch, the Angle Straight Ultra High Rise and the Curve Love, which typically sells better. Um, I've only okay. I have lots of, okay, my my next haul is gonna have two pairs of Ab Ab Abercrombie jeans, but the first time I ever sold Abercrombie jeans, they did so well, I was kind of like, oh. Like, it's funny because, like, I'd be so excited to find mother jeans that are, like, low-rise, colored, skinny denim, and they'd, like, they take, like, forever to sell and only sell for $25, but then I'm, like, for Abercrombie jeans, that will probably sell for, like, $50, and, like, two days, I'm just like, oh, Abercrombie, but, like, don't literally sleep on Abercrombie, so, I mean, like, so, for Abercrombie jeans, I pick up, like, I look for this white label, I look for, like, a current style, but because, like, this is, like, more, Aberc I mean, not to say, like, older people don't wear them, but, like, it's more for, like, the younger, like, my age, so, like, college age, is, like, their demographic, I want to say, so, typically, in the demographic of this demographic, um, they're looking for, like, the straight leg, like, distressed, G, which these were, I mean, not to say, like, skinny jeans by this brand wouldn't sell, because I don't know, I've never tried that style, but I just know, because that's what my sisters are looking for, but, again, these are size 29 or 8, which is a great size, the Curve Love, and then I, so I didn't even realize until I got, to, like, to the car that these were Nula tags, which is even better, I didn't even check, but, um, they retailed for $99, which I would list about 65 if, they were pre-owned, but since these are new tags, they'll probably go up to $85, but black wash. And my favorite thing at that store, my mom found, and I was so mad because I, okay, this is, okay, I actually, this was today, or, anyways, I'm wearing my, so I'm wearing my black at the Ori joggers, if you could see, and then my new Aviator Nation jacket that, um, and that you guys actually picked out for me, but. Anyways, so my mom found these. These are Viore size medium, and these are the Sunday Performance Joggers in this gray. I have found this same exact gray color twice in the Viore Sunday Performance Joggers at different stores, also in a size medium. The first pair I gave to my neighbor, and this pair I will be selling. They're in, like, great condition. I You can always tell, like, Viore because of, like, the drawstrings. Now, Sam's Club, like, members mark or something, per, like, knocks off that. So always check for a logo. Sometimes if you can't find the logo, they have it on the back. As well, check the zipper pulls. It says Viore. And then also, um, like on this like metal, or okay, sometimes they'll have like the metal, like on their shorts, they have like metal before the drawstring, and then it'll say Viore on that. And then so if this is not cut out, because uh, sometimes this tag will be removed. But another thing that's helpful is somewhere, I don't know where it is right now. Oh my God, where are you? Maybe this person cut it. I don't know. I've been literally inside out trying to find this paper tag. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I going to find my first money ever in a... There's... Okay. Wait. I feel something in the pocket. No, where? No, I literally felt money. I know I, I, I felt something. Okay. Am I? Okay. Wait. I've never ever found money. I've not even found one single penny. And I found a penny in a purse one time. I've never found a dollar bill or any. Okay. Okay. Pockets. Okay. Okay. Let's check. Okay. No, I literally swear. I, okay. Literally emptying out these pockets. This is not staged if I find something. Um, okay, um, I take the, po okay, 
you know, maybe what I felt was this Goodwill tag because I definitely did not find money in any of the pockets and I looked like five times in every single pocket. Um, I usually keep my money in this zipper pocket um, and my AirPods so they don't fall out because I love zipper pockets. Zipper pockets are the way to go and there are three zipper pockets on these Sunday performance stockers. But if you worry that have no money in them, but that's okay because these will sell for like $65 in like two days. And I'm really sad they are my size because I'm a size small on the Viore and these are size medium. And both times I've been sad they are my size, but that's okay. Um, whatever. But these were $2.99. Can't be that. Okay. And with the outfit, I actually forgot about one store. So I'm just going to show you. I, got, I have five things. I'll show you those real quickly. So, all right. These are Gymshark shorts. And, yeah, they're just, like, this, like, teal blue. And I'm like, well, maybe I can keep these, which I still might. But, like, I just probably won't wear them much. But they were $2.40. So it's just, like, okay. Um, size small. Um, but I don't know. I'll just have to see. I just really like my Viore and the lemon shorts. So I'm not even sure. They have, like, a color similar to that. So I don't know. This is my second time finding this brand. And it's very exciting. Um, this is Arcteryx, size women's large, and it's like the short sleeve, like, t-shirt thing. Here is the logo, which women's size large is great. Um, this is in really nice condition. This was $2.99, and I was, like, feeling this, and it actually is, like, a base layer shirt because, uh, well, just because, but it's 50% wool and 50% polyester, so... Having wool, like, makes the price of this increase. It's probably retailed for, like, if I had to guess, like, $75 maybe. But I don't I'm not for sure. So I'll probably list that at, like, $40. i am not sure if that's too much. But I've, I know some of, like, these, like, archaic, like, base layers are just 100% polyester don't do as well. But since mine is a woman's size large, I think that'll go for more. All right. These are good American size 427. And these were $7.23. But I got these because when they're high rise, but they are that straight leg with the raw hem. So I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and get those. I couldn't find the style on these though. So, I mean, here is the style. Um, but I typed it in and it really wasn't giving me anything, which makes me think it's like a newer style. But I'm also not like sure. They're definitely not, not an old style. And they have like no stretch to them, which is kind of weird for good American jeans. I feel like... They have stretched a lot, but these ones don't. But, like, something for good American jeans, I always check is if the zipper, like, their zipper, honestly, I feel like is very, like, low quality. And I have found, like, a good, broken good American zipper, like, three times. So, um, sometimes they pass on them due to style. I really don't pick up their printed, like, colored denim skinny jeans anymore because they just have not been selling for me. Uh, same with, like, I don't... Sometimes they're skinny, like, I don't pick them up with wear. I find them very worn out fairly often, so, yeah. But I thought that was a good style, so I went ahead and got them. This is an Eileen Fisher Petite Medium, which I don't really like petites, but for Eileen Fisher, it, like, I do pretty well with it. So, it's, like, this railroad stripe, uh, like, linen shift dress. They're, her dresses don't always sell the fastest for me, but they do eventually sell, so I'll probably get, like, $40 for this, but it has... An exposed back zipper and this is in really nice condition and you can kind of tell because these pockets are still like sewn shut which is like um i mean partially i think this one was still like sewn shut which yeah which is a very good sign i think i actually already tore off the i just made the pockets open but this is like i think linen or hemp or something where are you i mean for sure there it is. Okay. This is 55% hemp and 45% organic cotton, which I'm not going to go on my organic linen or cotton rant again. That was enough. Okay. All right, I almost left this, but then I was like, okay, it's so cheap. Like, you might as well. So, I saw, like, this, like, like tag bunched up, and I saw, like, this. So, I got kind of excited because, yeah, but then it ended up being Iviva, which is the kids' lemon, which I... Don't always pick up. I do not pick up, like, the leggings. At, the, at one of the garage sales, I saw, like, a pair of leggings for $1, but they didn't have a size in them, so I left them. But size 12, and it's, like, this vest. 
so like kind of like it's like a sherpa vest on the outside and like here's like one of the logos down here but this is actually a reversible style so it can like be worn either way and here is the logo somewhere again it's like almost like this diamond print and like their stuff feels like exactly like i mean like maybe not like ex i mean it very it feels like lululemon which i mean that, that brand is no longer in production so right because so they ended that brand so they could focus more on expanding their men's department because that's like where the money is i mean men's stuff is more expensive than the kids stuff so this is cool which i actually pretty well with these these are size eight and they're just like some bermuda shorts um so there's a logo sometimes a woman these are women sometimes a woman has a heart and then the mountain but these are just the mountain and these were 2 99 so this store is really fair pricing even though it's in like the same branch as my goodwills and some of the other ones don't all right this is my first time finding this brand in the wild so let me guess if you guys can guess this print so it's like this tropical print midi length with like a back slit so this was seven twenty three, and this is Jam's World size large. So very exciting. I'm pretty sure a lot of Jam's World's prints are copyrighted, but I'm not sure if this one is or not. But I was excited to find that. But maybe your favorite thing. Um, I like the Marnie and the Viore's. Two Viore's. Like I said that. Oh, this is my like my fifteenth time finding or fourteenth or something finding Viore in the wild. So I know some people like, um. I've never found it and I don't know it's just a relatively popular brand in my area and I think I'm like I'm always like it's one brand and the thrift store I'm always hoping to find so I think sometimes if you're hoping to find it I mean like you can't just go into the thrift store and just be like I want to find it I mean like well you okay you can but like you have to like make like I want to find Gucci when I go to the thrift store but I have to make it like an achievable brand and you have to know your area and so if your area has western wear and like things like that then you could probably like be like i want to find fry today and maybe even find it so i guess you just never know but my area has a lot of people that wear viore so i wanted to find viore and i found or my mom found viore so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video